the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission, now wants controller of budget Margaret Nyakango charged over the controversial buyout of Telcom Kenya at a cost of 6 billion shillings. In its quarterly report, the EACC also wants former Treasury CS Uko Yatani arrested and produced in court over several charges in the Telcom buyout plan that includes money laundering. The Director of Public Prosecutions is reviewing the file of the Telcom buyout probe as Stephen Letor reports. The Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission has for several months been investigating the buyout of Telcom Kenya at a cost of 6 billion shillings, a buyout plan that was clouded by controversy. Our quarterly report have got big cases and uh, quite a number of big cases, some of them is about telecom. The ESCC has since established that during the buyout plan, the Attorney General's advice was ignored and his opinion was not factored in the contract with the Communication Authority, also said not to have approved the acquisition of the 60% shares, thus the acquisition of shares by Government of Kenya from Jamuhuri Holdings did not meet the threshold. The ESCC has now recommended to the DPP that former Treasury Cabinet Secretary Ukuri Yatani be charged in court over his role in the loss of 6 billion shillings. Former Treasury PS Julius Muya is also listed among a group of former senior government officials that ESCC once prosecuted over the same. In addition, ESCC wants a battle controller of budget Margaret Nyakango charged over her role in the release of the colossal amount of money Money to aid the buyout deal that happened a few days to the last general election. Others who ESCC once prosecuted include former Director General Public Investment and Portfolio Management, Engineer Stanley Kamau, Paul Cunningham, who is the Director of Jamuhuri Holdings Limited, and CEO Telcom, Paul Mugokibati. Others include Telcom Board Chair Edward Njoroge, Julius Kiplaga Cheptiong, JHL Transaction Advisor. Advisor John Gome, Kosi Ali, and Alan Waina in Congo. According to ESCC, the chain of individuals lined up for prosecution should face, among other charges, economic crimes, abuse of office, money laundering, and six counts on acquisition of proceeds of crime. The telecom file is under review by the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. Early October this year, the cabinet chaired by President William Ruto rescinded the decision to purchase a 60% stake in Telcom from Helios Investment at a cost of 6.09 billion shillings and now wants the company to refund the money. The Helios company at the center of the Telcom takeover is based in the UK while its partner subsidiary Jamuri Holdings Limited is based in Mauritius. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.